So I consider myself a very optimistic glass half full person, but I also live in reality. So let me share with you the five reasons in no particular order, although the first one is probably the number one reason why people fail to make money online. Okay, so here it is in a nutshell, and you can probably relate to what I'm about to share with you. The number one reason why people fail is they simply just give up. They tried it for a couple of weeks, and if they don't make their $10,000, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, when I launched my coffee tea snack store, first one back in 2013, February, I made like $110. Did I get discouraged? No. Well, because I've been online earning other means through training. I'm a software training. Started my career here in New York City back in 1987 when I was 28 years old. I recently turned 62. So number one reason is people just fail. Their expectations were too high or they simply just lose interest. The number two reason, again, in no particular order, these are just the top five reasons. Number one, of course, is they just give up. They lose interest. Number two is they're trying to sell. Nobody wants to be sold. Now, how can you say that, Robert? Amazon sells, Best Buy sells. Yes, of course they do. But they also have a multi-million dollar, if not billion dollar ad budget. So they can get away with selling. The reason you can't, because you have to build credibility. People don't know you. They don't know your brand. Okay. Now, you know this as well as I do. You can go to a professional looking website and it could still be a scam. It happens all the time. People get fooled. They get conned. Okay. So again, you have to stop selling. You have to start engaging people. Okay. So that's another reason. That's reason number two. Again, no particular order. Third is shiny object syndrome. They get distracted. They go after the next best thing, the next best shiny object. Okay. They, you know, oh, this, it's like a squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Okay. So don't fall prey to shiny object syndrome. Now, I fell prey to this myself going back 18, 20 years ago because I didn't know any better. Okay. The, the other reason people fail is they listen to the wrong people. They don't have the right training. You don't need a squeeze page. You don't need an autoresponder. Now, there's people that do use that. Does it work for some? Yeah. But in general, think about this. You're a consumer just like I am. How do you want to be treated? Do you want to basically sign up for somebody's free ebook, which is really a cloak for let me get your email address so I can spam you for the next 20 years of your life and beat you in the submission. Those are old school tactics that are not going to work. So again, third reason, or I should say fourth reason, is they, they, they just don't have the right approach. They don't have the right method. They're listening to the gurus and the snake oil salesmen out there, the get rich quick, the only I know, the special sauce. You've seen them on YouTube. You've heard about it on Facebook. Okay, so those are four reasons why people fail. And here is the fifth reason. They don't have a platform that works with what I just explained to you. Their platform is about selling. Okay, or their website has not been optimized or it's not fast loading. That will basically kill sales as well. So running an ad is not as simple as just running an ad. What is your ad relating to? What's your demographic that you're targeting? What is your landing page? Again, landing page. Just the page that you land on from your link, from your offer. Again, I don't want you selling. I want you to engage people with YouTube videos that you curate to your WordPress page and then put that on social media. Something that is innocuous and ambiguous as a bagel recipe. Let me share something with you. I was actually shocked by this myself. Beginning part of 2021, right after the new year, I ran a pancake, a blueberry Dutch oven pancake recipe. I couldn't believe this pancake recipe. I had almost $2,300 in sales to my turnkey system using this pancake recipe on Facebook just to come and watch the pancake recipe before I even spent two bucks. I had tons of traffic and I had tons of engagement. Why? Because I wasn't trying to sell them. I was trying to engage them. Oh, wait a second, Robert. 
you launch a pancake recipe, but you're really trying to sell your websites. Well, again, I'm not trying to sell anything. But when somebody comes to my recipe website and there's a simple, non-threatening, non-salesy banner ad that says, how would you like to get a store like this? How would you like to get a recipe store like this? How would you like to get a fitness store? That basically converts because people don't feel threatened. They're thinking, hey, I like this store. I've been to it before. Maybe I want to check this out. So let me ask you a simple question. I don't care where you shop. Do you shop on Saks Fifth Avenue? Do you shop on Amazon, Best Buy, Lululemon, Williams Sonoma? What if you go to any of those web stores and there's a banner ad that said, how would you like to get a web store like this? You're on Dick's Sporting Goods. How would you like to get a web store like this? Well, that's what you're doing when you're an affiliate. You have access to that entire store's arsenal of products. So when you go to Dick Sporting Goods, and you're an affiliate for Dick Sporting Goods, and you had Robert's Sporting Goods store, or whatever you want to call yourself, you can put those products on your website. Okay, but you don't engage people to come to your website with the products. You engage them with quality content that you get from YouTube. So let's think about something. Let's talk about recipes for a second. You know the average recipe on YouTube has 1.3 million views. Some of the recipe videos have 60, 70, 100 million views. You don't think that's going to draw traffic to your website? It's a proven commodity. If a makeup video is getting 62 million views and you share that on your social media, not from YouTube, to your WordPress page, to your social media. So when somebody wants to watch and engage with that video, it takes them back to your website. And that's the time to shine. And that's how my whole process works. Now, the upside downside, you don't have to create these videos. Who gets credit for the videos? Who gets the views? The person that made the video. They get the views for that. That's fine. So again, number one, 96 out of 100 percent of people, 96 out of 100 people will fail because they fall into that five-step category. They either simply give up they're trying to sell. They don't have the right training or approach. They don't have the right platform. And more importantly, they don't have the right tools. I supply all the tools needed to do this. I've handpicked. It took me a year and a half of my life to build out this platform. And I'm constantly updating newer and better plugins. Some plugins come, some plugins go. So I'm here to help you every step of the way. But I 100% assure you nothing will happen again if you choose to do nothing. So again, if you're tired of chasing the shiny objects, if you're tired of wasting stupid money on ads, let's finally find you, allow me the pleasure of helping you work smart with the right tools, the right training, the right platform. Thanks again for being here. Talk to you soon.